Well, what we're doing today is where we've actually uh, got some crews with us today, uh, making an attempt to spread the trout out a little farther up and down the stream. And how that works is we kind of go to our normal locations and then we will put about half the amount of trout there we normally would and then use uh, our other assistants uh, with buckets to then spread the fish farther up and downstream uh, for the second half of fish that would normally go at a single location. You know, one of the other potential benefits is it, it kind of disperses the anglers. As an angler, we stock a spot. You don't feel like an angler. You need to fish just specifically in that hole to have an opportunity to catch a fish. It does spread them to other locations so you can feel like you can move up and down the river a little farther from a stocking location and uh, at least gives you a perception that, that there's more opportunities there. The one thing a lot of people don't realize is, is you know, when trout are stocked, they actually, um, there, there's more trout really spread out and, and move farther away from the stocking spots than a lot of people really realize. So a lot of folks feel like if they are, don't get there on the day they stock, they don't have an opportunity. They see a number of people uh, maybe limit out on fish and they think, well, that's all the fish they've all been caught. And here on the Elk River today where we're stocking, a lot of people don't realize, I mean, just today, we're stocking 235 limits of trout. I mean, that's a lot of opportunities for a lot of anglers to catch trout. The amazing thing is next week we do it again. So a lot of times there's fish far away from the stocking locations. They're a little more finicky. You just have to, you just have to fish for them and work on your techniques and work on how you present those baits. The fish are there if anglers just go after them.